Hi, welcome to the Chemistry Start Online and get mobile app from Google Play Stores and get a course on it to target CSIR Chemical Sciences and get Chemistry. Now we are discussing on get previous year solved problems. Just look at the given problem. A disaccharide doesn't give a positive test for the Torrens reagent and upon acidic hydrolysis it gives an equimolar mixture of two different monosaccharides both of which can be oxidized by bromine water this disaccharide is okay by using the information given in the problem we need to find the correct disaccharide from the given options okay right now check option a if you observe the structure of disaccharide of option A, it has one pyranose ring with six atoms with one axis with, with five carbon atoms and one axis in it. And we call it as pyranose chair, uh, chair uh, uh, structure. And now furanose ring with four carbon atoms and with one axis in and the, these two pyranose ring and the furanose ring are connected at their anomeric carbons just observe here they are connected at anomeric carbons that means one one glycosidic linkage is present in the given structure okay and by this information we can conclude that the given disaccharide is sucrose okay right and why we call sucrose as non-reducing sugar because if you observe the structure of sucrose the pyrose ring of glucose and the furnose ring of fructose are connected by one one glycosidic linkages that means at anomeric carbon they form a glycosidic link okay right now observe that the acetals are involved in glycosidic linkage that's why they cannot reduce it by the reducing agents like torrents reagents to open the rings okay to open the rings to form aldehydic forms or allonic forms okay simply here gluconic forms of that okay so due to that we consider sucrose as non-reducing sugar. From this information, we can say that if disaccharides or monosaccharides, if contains free acetals as hemiacetals, they can easily reduce by the reducing agents like Torrens reagents, and they open the cyclic form into a cyclic form and to produce aldonic forms okay then we call them as reducing sugars right if you observe option b or the given disaccharide structure it has two pyranose rings just observe clearly and these two pyranose rings are connected uh, at one comma four glycosidic linkage just observe the first pyranose ring and it has glycosidic linkage that means its anomeric carbon is in glycosidic link okay and just observe another pyranose ring it is connected at fourth carbon of it that means it has free hemiacetal okay whenever the disaccharide has free hemiacetal it can easily attacked by the reducing agent and the ring opens and it produces aldonic form okay so whenever we observe that we call the disaccharide as reducing disaccharide okay and this structure gives a name as maltose okay so maltose, maltose is simply reducing disaccharide okay right now 
जस्ट ऑब्जर्व ऑप्शन सी एंड ऑप्शन डी ऑप्शन सी एंड ऑप्शन डी आर इन्वॉल्व इन ए ग्लाइकोसेडिक लिंकेज आट वनोमेरिक कार्बन दैट मीन्स हियर इज एनोमेरिक कार्बन एंड हियर सो यू कैन ऑब्जर्व इन ऑप्शन सी ऑल्सो दे आर एनोमेरिक कार्बन दैट मीन्स इन द ऑप्शन सी डे सैकराइड एंड ऑप्शन डी डे सैकराइड दे इन्वॉल्व इन ग्लाइकोसेडिक लिंकेज एट एनोमेरिक कार्बन दैट मीन्स एसिटॉल्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन ग्लाइकोसेडिक लिंकेज सो वेन एवर एसिटॉल्स इन्वॉल्व इन ग्लाइकोसेडिक लिंकेज दे के नॉट ओपन बाय द रेड्यूसिंग शुगर्स टू प्रोड्यूस एसाइक्लिक फॉर्म्स और आल्डोनिक फॉर्म्स ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस एनालिसिस वी कैन एलिमिनेट ऑप्शन बी बिकॉज इन द गिवन प्रॉब्लम ई आस्क अबाउट डाइसाइकराइड दट डजेंट रेड्यूज और डजेंट गिव पॉजिटिव टेस्ट विथ ए टोरेंस रिएजेंट दैट मीन्स वी नीड टू फाइंड नॉन रेड्यूजिंग डाइसाइकराइड so here maltose is a reducing disaccharide so that's why we can eliminate option b now we have option a option c and option d are in competition now we need to check for another information given in the problem upon acidic hydrolysis the disaccharide gives an equimolar mixture of two different monosaccharides and followed by acidized with bromine water that means on acidic hydrolysis the non reducing sugar produces two different monosaccharides and the two different monosaccharides can oxidized by the bromine water so by this information we can eliminate option a because in option a we have one furanose ring of fructose okay so fructose ring cannot be oxidized by the bromine water so that's why we can eliminate option a also now check option c and option d so i have just forgotten here is one oh group is there and here is one group oh group is there please uh, draw it now if we observe option c and option d they have two pyranose rings okay equimolar pyranose rings but option c has same pyranose rings in it okay simply it has glucose rings in it okay there is no change in so on acidic catalysis it produces uh, same uh, monosaccharides okay that means simply one monosaccharide it produces one monosaccharide but if you observe option d it produces different monosaccharides because in this pyranose ring we can see the two hydroxy groups are in equatorial positions okay at mm, third and fourth position on the pyranose ring and if you observe this pyranose ring the at uh, third and fourth position hydroxy groups are in the relation of equatorial and axial positions that means whenever on hydrolysis this disaccharide produces two different monosaccharides okay so the total information is applied to the option d hence the correct answer is d okay thank you